This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth. Do you guys remember this relic from the past? The classic public payphone where you could put in a quarter and call somebody while you are out and about. Well, if you've used one of these things, you're probably also familiar with the history of the evolution of these devices going from rotary phones to touch dial phones to cordless phones, eventually to these smartphones that we call them, which I've been exposing the dangers of ever since they came out. Uh, you may recall this video, which went viral way back in 2017, getting nearly 2 million views, titled Wireless Warfare Exposed. Declassified military doc proves that smartphones are killing mankind. We've been treated like guinea pigs, and the lab results are in Smartphones are killing us. Well, ever since that video came out, guys, there have been countless studies on the dangers of these devices and the effects that they have on us, not only physically, but spiritually, emotionally, psychologically. Um, in case you didn't know, they've been specifically designed to be addictive. Um, in some very subtle ways sometimes. Like, for example, have you ever recognized that your likes or comments or thumbs up don't just flash up, but they actually scroll up, just like the numbers scroll on a slot machine at a casino. That's specifically done by design to release dopamine hits in the brain in order to keep you coming back for more. Well... These studies are, are, are you know, uh, being proven time and time again to be correct. These are having a, a, a negative effect on our brains. And there's actually a new study that uh, just came out, uh, came out that I want to share with you that shows that just simply disabling the internet on your smartphone may actually reverse brain aging. Here's the study. Blocking mobile internet on smartphones improves sustained attention, mental health, and your subjective well-being. So today we're going to take a look at the question. Does that mean it might be time for you to do a digital detox? And if so, what exactly might that look like for you if you cut out a significant amount of your screen time. Well, we're going to talk about all of this and much, much more in this video, guys. But really quickly, just before we do, I'd ask that you check me out here at pressfortruth.ca slash donate if you do appreciate my efforts to bring you this information. Uh, guys, here you can do a one-time donation with PayPal. You can do Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. You can sign up here or here for a monthly recurring contribution. Uh, you can send an e-transfer to dan at pressfortruth.ca or you can send stuff to my P.O. Box, guys. Links for all of this is located right there in the description below. Thank you so much to everybody who does take one minute today to contribute to my efforts to bring you this information here at Press for Truth. All right, guys, check this out. Um, what if the key to sharper focus and a younger brain wasn't a supplement or an app, but turning off your mobile internet. A new study from the University of British Columbia suggests that ditching phone internet access, even temporarily, could roll back your brain's cognitive clock by 10 years, vastly improving brain health in the process. The study followed 400 students and working age adults who used a custom app to block internet access on their smartphones for two weeks. They could still make phone calls and send text messages. However, apps, social media, and browsing were out of reach. What happened next surprised even the researchers. After the two-week break, participants showed dramatic improvements in their sustained attention, the ability to concentrate on a single task. In fact, their attention levels matched those of people a full decade younger. The results highlighted an overlooked but apparently powerful connection between our phones, the internet, and our brain health. And yeah, there is a huge connection that is being overlooked here between just how powerful these things can be in, in robbing us of our brain health. Did you guys know that the co-founder of Apple, Steve Jobs, the guy who was largely responsible for creating these devices would not allow his own children to even possess or use one until they were at least at the age of 14 years old. I mean, that should be a huge red flag. 
you know, to anybody <laughs> to, to think, wait a minute now, the, the guy who created these things won't even let his kids use them? You know, why is that? Considering new research shows that our cognitive skills peak at a much higher ages than we originally believed, obviously doing anything that we can to improve the state of our brains is going to benefit our lives. So the researchers believe that this boost came from participants who are spending less time online and more time engaged in face-to-face -face interactions in outdoor environments. Nature and social connections provide a different kind of cognitive stimulation, one that allows the brain to recover from the relentless demands of screen time. There were other benefits from the participants' brain health as well. Many reported better sleep, and higher, longer quality of risk. Also, anxiety levels dropped significantly, particularly among those who were heavy social media users prior to the study. While the first few days came with some digital withdrawal symptoms, like restlessness and phantom notifications, most participants reported feeling more mentally present even by the end of the first week. And these improvements weren't fleeting. Follow-up assessments carried out months later showed that many people retained their increased focus and reduced anxiety. Even the older participants saw gains, challenging the idea that aging brains are less flexible. So the experts are stressing that the takeaway here isn't to necessarily abandon your phones, but to introduce structured breaks from the mobile internet. With the growing spotlight on phone internet brain health, tech companies are even exploring tools that support this kind of digital detox. And if you have never done a full electronic detox or, or a digital detox, guys, maybe now is the time to think about what that might do for your life moving forward. When you cut out all screen time, including computers, TVs, smartphones, smart watches, iPads, laptops, you name it, all screen time, uh, like this study suggests, you're going to see a dramatic increase, not only in the reversing of your brain aging, but just of your, your overall uh, cognitive abilities, uh, your ability to focus on a task, and um, you know, just, just your ability to connect with other human beings as well. Because let's face it, if it, it, it if, if this is the first thing that you look at when you wake up in the morning, rather than your loved one and, you know, saying I love you to them or good morning, then you probably have a problem. If, th if this is something you have to have with you when you walk from room to room or, you know, wh when you leave the house or, or just 24-7, you probably have a problem. And so, you know, anytime you're addicted to something, you're essentially a slave to that thing. So... Uh, Addictions are bad, and I'm not saying I'm out of the clear here. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously, you know, uh, subject to this just like everybody else. I, too, have had my issues with my addictions to these things. But I do do these digital detoxes. I do a couple of, couple of them a year um, for at least three days. Um, where I'll often go on a camping trip or go to some sort of no cell phone service area uh, where it's not even possible to look at anything because there's no service. Um, that's something I would highly recommend you do if you've never done it before. And this year, I think I'm going to extend it well beyond three days. I might go a week or even the full two weeks, like this study suggests, with zero screen time. Fully, you know, for, for my own mental health and, and, and just to, you know, improve my cognitive functions and, and my, my relationships and, and so many things that will be better when you free yourselves from the clutches of the smartphone technology that has engripped us all with these dope, the, you know, these engineered dopamine hits. It's absolutely wild. So I thought it was interesting uh, that this study said, you know, simply something as small as disabling the internet can actually have a massive impact. That's something, you know, you can actually do because you'll still get calls, you'll st still get texts, you won't feel like you're cut off in an emergency or something like that, but at least you'll be working towards, you know, better brain health. Uh, because if you haven't seen this video, guys, about this declassified military document that I exposed is showing that you know, it, proof that mankind is, is being killed by these things, 
Definitely check it out. Again, it went viral back in 2017, getting 1.9 million views. That was back when I used to have a YouTube channel, by the way. Um, they don't want this kind of information getting out there, so my YouTube channel was terminated. But at any rate, if you haven't seen it, guys, be sure to check it out. Um, in this video, I went over what the phone companies are telling you is a safe and acceptable level of exposure compared to what military documents have reported as far back as the 1970s in terms of the clinical effects of microwaves and radio frequency radiation on human beings. Another very important point to, to understand when you're using these things moving forward. So just wanted to bring that one to your attention, guys. Uh, this is the article. Here is the study. I'll put links to all of it in the uh, description below. Don't forget to check me out at pressfortruth.ca slash donate. If you do appreciate my efforts to bring you this information, uh, once again, you can click that top link in the description below on whatever video platform you happen to be watching this on, whether it be Rumble or BitChute or, or Minds or uh, any of the other great platforms that I post on. Just check that top link in the description below. So thank you so much to everybody who does take one minute to do that today. I, I can't continue to go on doing this work without the support that comes directly from you, the viewer. So thank you so much to everybody who today goes to pressfortruth.ca. Once again, I can't do this without your support. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please click the thumbs up button, share this video, and stay tuned, guys. We're going to have more video reports coming soon. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. We all want truth. truth. The truth will set you free. free, free.